Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're gonna do something that looks a little bit like a science experiment gone wrong. We're gonna make a bar of soap erupt using microwaves. The simplicity of this is quite amazing. All you need is a bar of ivory soap. No other kind of soap will work, and that's unfortunate because I can't use my dialed in soap, but we need that and a microwave. Ultimately, we're gonna make this bar go through two amazing stages of transformation, and it starts with unwrapping the bar of ivory soap putting it on a microwave safe plate, popping it in the microwave, and simply running it on high for two minutes. If you throw most bars of soap in a microwave and start them on high for a couple of minutes, you're gonna end up with a gooey blob at the end that just turned into a hot melted mess. But as you can see with the bar of ivory soap, you end up with something extremely different. In fact, while this may look like a chemical reaction, it's actually just a physical change process. Want to win a fun bet with your friends? Tell them you can turn a bar of soap into a pile of powder in just five minutes. Most of them won't believe you can do it, but you can prove it. Throw it in the microwave for two minutes, let it cool down for a couple minutes, then just break it down with your hands. We're gonna show you how to do that in just a second too. From this angle, you can see that the soap has continued to expand to get to the point where it looks like it's just about filling the microwave. Once the heat gets turned off, it starts to settle back down a little bit. The short answer as to why this happens is because the microwave heats the soap, causing the moisture inside the soap to evaporate. That evaporation releases the oxygen molecules, which pushes through the soap structure, and the force of that pushing out causes the soap to expand out into this foam-like material that you see now. You have to remember though, when you take this out of the microwave, it's gonna be hot. In fact, as you start to break it apart, it's kinda steamy on the inside. That's why I recommend letting it sit for a couple minutes to cool down first. You'll notice as I continue to mess with it here, if you pick up a piece and push it together or crunch it down in your hands, it will actually clump back up. When preparing to make this video, I actually cranked out two bars of soap in the microwave, and this is the result of the second one. It actually turns out into quite a huge blob that's at least 10 times the size of the original bar of soap. Now that's physical size, because as you hold this up in the plate, you'll notice that it actually feels a lot lighter than the original bar of soap felt when you were holding it. I have to thank Jared for the donation of the microwave. He actually gave this to me because it's missing some parts, and he wanted me to use it in a deconstruction video, or what I like to call, what's inside. While I will be taking it apart to make a future video, at this time I can't resist just doing some fun experiments that I've had sitting in the back of my mind for a while but didn't want to use the microwave inside the house. I don't mind risking this one a little bit to do some things with, but please note, a bar of soap like ivory in the microwave isn't going to cause you much of a problem. It might make a little bit of a mess and it's easy to clean up because it's just soap after all. A couple of key things to note though is your home is going to smell a lot like a strong ivory soap scent, but that's okay, it's a clean smell. The other thing is as you start to crumble it up like this and turn it into a powder, that powder is going to get airborne or can get airborne, and you want to be careful not to be breathing that in. As you can see here, you end up with a soap powder that's really light. And because it's really light, it's very easy to store. You can throw this in a Ziploc bag, seal it up, and just stuff it away for future use. In fact, I'm gonna share with you some ideas for uses of this in future videos. For now, just note, we took two bars of ivory soap and turned them into two liters of soap powder. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.